Hey Kingdom family, my name is Candy Nicole. Welcome to Arise in Glory. Today's scripture is coming out of 1 Samuel 12 verses 24. It says, Only fear the Lord and serve Him faithfully with all your heart. For consider what great things He has done for you. God wants to talk about you being grateful today right where you are. Before we jump into this message, if you have enjoyed any of the video content shared here on this channel, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing out the videos. Also, all my information is down in the description box if you need to contact me for any reason. Okay, so this is going to come from God checking me last night. I'm going to be 1,000 with you, okay? Like, I got checked in the most loving way last night. So last night, I was bringing God all my frustration. The last two days have been warfare, warfare. People have been trying my gangsta. They want to see if I still got it in me, okay? But I've been handling them like I'm supposed to handle them. But that frustration is building up in me. And I brought it to God. And I'm like, God, you said big things was going to be popping here. God recently asked me to move hundreds of miles away from my hometown into a new place. And I've gotten here. And I'm not, eh, eh. y'all's popping, but I, I don't see the big things that he told me popping just yet. And I'm a little impatient. I keep going back and saying, God, I thought you said big things were supposed to be popping here. Like, what's going on? He humbled me real quick. He brought me back to a vision of one day I had dropped my kids to school and I was driving back to my house where I used to live. There was two ladies laying under a bridge and a man. They were laying in the grass. They had one lady, she got so comfortable, y'all. She was laying there and in her bra. And it just, my, my heart just dropped when I saw it. And God had told me, turn back around to go give them something. And I did. But he brought me back to the image of them laying in the grass. And he was like, be grateful. Like, you have a roof over your head. You're living in a decent place. Be grateful. You have a lot more than a lot of other people. Somebody's wishing for what you have. So, he was telling me to be grateful for exactly where I'm at because I am blessed. And he's keeping me in the place that I am. And God wants you to realize how he is keeping you in your certain situations. Maybe big things are not popping yet. You're running after a goal. It hasn't happened yet. But in the process of it happening, step back and start looking and seeing how God is keeping you. It's in the little ways he is keeping you, but he is keeping you. So he said the blessings are coming. He knows what he promised you. He understands it. You don't have to keep reminding him. He knows what he told you. Yes, he meant it. It will happen. You just need to continue on with what you're doing and you need to be thankful for the blessings that are in your life right now and be grateful. He brought me back to a song that he gave me when I first got here. I'm laughing for a reason. When I first got here, God kept playing India Ari, the little things. And I mean, y'all, he kept, every time I would bring something to him, he'd be like, the little things. I'm like, God, I know all about the little things. I've done the little things all of my life. I know all about them. You said big things are popping out here and I am trying to achieve those goals. And he kept telling me the little things and the joy it brings. So he wants you to focus on the little things and the joy it brings because you're going to get where you're going. You just need to hold up and just be grateful for where you're at right now. Because even if you think back, you're in a better position than you once were in. And there's someone somewhere wishing that they could be where you are right now. So be grateful in all circumstances. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.